Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Let A and B be integers where B is greater than zero. If A is a divisor of B, then A is less than or equal to B. Okay, now, what do we mean by this? Well, we mean the following. Given any two integers a and b, we'll say that a is a divisor of b if there exists an integer k such that b is equal to ka. Okay, now let's get into the proof. To start out, let's give ourselves two integers a and b where b is greater than zero. And our goal from here is to prove if this is true, then this is true. So let's suppose that this is true. From here, we want to deduce that this is true. Right? We want to show that a is less than or equal to b. Now, since a is a divisor of b, we know by definition that means that there is some integer k such that b is equal to ka. Now, from here, to show that a is less than or equal to b, we're going to divide this up into two cases. Either a is less than or equal to 0, or a is greater than 0. And in either case, we're going to show that a is less than or equal to b. Let's start with case one, where a is less than or equal to zero. Now, in the case where a is less than or equal to zero, we have that a is less than or equal to zero, which is less than b. So this tells us that a must be strictly less than b. And since a is less than b, it follows that a is less than or equal to b. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. So this completes case one. Now let's move on to case two, where a is strictly greater than zero. Now in the case where a is greater than zero, notice we have that both a and b are greater than zero. And with these two facts, let's investigate this equation. Well, we know that either k is equal to zero, k is greater than zero, or k is less than zero. Well, our claim is that k is greater than zero. So what happens if we have the other two possibilities? Well, if k is equal to zero, well then a times zero gives us that b is equal to zero, which contradicts the fact that b is greater than zero. On the other hand, if k is less than zero, then we have a positive number times a negative number, which results in a negative number. But again, that contradicts the fact that b is positive. So we must have that k is greater than zero. And since k is an integer, this is equivalent to saying that k is greater than or equal to 1. Now, let's observe that b is equal to k times a. And if we take this inequality and multiply the positive number a on both sides, we get that ka is greater than or equal to a. And so this tells us that a is less than or equal to b. So we see that in either case, we have that a is less than or equal to b. So, if a is a divisor of b, then a is less than or equal to b. So putting this all together, we gave ourselves two integers, a and b, where b is greater than zero. And we show that if a is a divisor of b, then a is less than or equal to b. That's exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.